This poor snail has been hijacked by a parasite called Leucochloridium paradoxum, and it may not live very long. Leucochloridium paradoxum, also known as the mind-controlling flatworm. Adult flatworms live in the bird's intestines where they mate and produce eggs. These eggs leave the bird through its poop and end up scattered. As land snails feed on decaying plant matter, they accidentally ingest the eggs. Once inside the snail, the eggs hatch into larvae that begin developing within the snail's body. The parasite takes an unusual and highly visible approach. The larvae migrate into the snail's eye stalks, where they form large swollen structures known as brood sacs. These brood sacs replace normal eye tissue. The brood sacs pulse rhythmically, making the snail's eye stalks look like living caterpillars or insect larvae. This visual trick is extremely effective at attracting birds, which are always searching for an easy prey. At the same time, the parasite alters the snail's behavior. Healthy snails usually hide in dark, damp places to avoid predators. Infected snails, however, are far more likely to crawl into open, well-lit areas and remain exposed for long periods. When a bird spots the snail, it often pecks at and eats the eye stalks containing thousands of immature parasites. Inside the bird's intestines, these larvae finally mature into adult flatworms. The adults then reproduce, releasing new eggs into the environment through the bird's droppings, and the cycle begins again when another snail ingests them. Remarkably, the snail often survives this process. Many infected snails can regenerate their eye stalks after they are eaten. This allows the parasite to form new brood sacs and repeat the same strategy again, sometimes multiple times, within the same snail.